Hi everyone, Messi Coder here. Just a very quick video, giving you a little bit of an update of the game I'm working on and what I'm going to be doing in the coming weeks. And mainly, we're chatting about the Unity 3D Asset Store, giving you my two cents about what I think about the new one and the old one, and asking you your thoughts as well. Oh yeah, I've had a bit to drink, so don't expect anything um, remotely resembling common sense in this video. So I'll see you guys in a second. Hi right, guys, just a very quick video. I want to ask you what you think of the new Unity Asset Store. Well, I say new, it's been out for about a month. So you can still see the old one and you can see the new one if you want. I've got two browsers set up. I've got the new one in one browser, the older one in the other browser. And first, let's just give the sandwich method when giving compliments and making criticisms. So I do like the clean look. You've got the standard Unity slider that you've also got in the old one. It's nice and big, big picture. You can scroll through it, so that's pretty. I like this search, the you know, predictive search that it's looking for. So if I type in gay, and it comes up with Gaia or loads of stuff. And if I typed in here, will be, hopefully I would see will be stuff. I don't. Let's put a space and say Uma. There you go. I see will be stuff with Uma. So that's nice. Um, FPS. See FPS, things with FPS in the name. So yeah, I like that, and there's little icons next to them. So we go um, player animation, little icon. So I think that's very, I think that's pretty. I like that a lot. I do like that. There you go, compliments. See, I'm not, I'm not such a bad guy. I do give compliments. Other thing I like, I like this quick look. When I click quick look, I've got here um, processing stack. Tells me what it is. Tells me it's free. I can add it to my assets. Tells me the reviews. Oh, 808 user ratings. They got five out of five, and there's 136 people have actually written something. So that's nice. And then you click here, and you can see nice big pictures. Look how big it gets. Click on the X. I want to see full details. I can click on that. Let's go back to. Oh, where's it gone? There you go. Quick look. Hey, oh come on, load up. And then you know you got links to the support websites and the publishers websites. I think all that's very pretty. Now. It's a bit annoying that I can't just click here and then it gets bigger and I can see more text like you can when you click on the picture. I have to click full details, but you know they need something to bait you in to click on that more view full details, don't they? So it is acceptable. So I think this is nice. Well, so they've got that's nice. Um, um, this is nice the way they've got this at the bottom. Powerful new assets. I mean, the way it's laid out. What else is nice? I suppose that you can scroll slide through. It's quite nice, I suppose. Um, and oh, that the cell has got a nice little arrow, and that looks pretty. And that's about it. That's that's the compliments that I can give it. So it's a bit sad. Um, one of the things that I really don't like is this. So. I can see stuff and I can see um, like a second level menus. So if I go to this one 3D, I can see characters and then I can see these four sections and props. I can see clothing, but I can't go any further. If I just click on it, it'll take me, like I click on clothing now. See, take me to clothing. And it's not like it's that clever that, oops, hang on. And then I click on this down here and I go to, where was props? There you go. Well, there you go. Here, look, props. It hasn't even got clothing in there anymore. It's just gone straight to props. Can't get any deeper than that. Like 3D um, characters, animal creatures, humanoid robots. Not even Uma anymore. Uma had its own section before. Now it doesn't even have that. And I know what you're screaming, you're screaming. Go and click on, click on props up there. Click on props. And I've clicked on props up there. Same as if I'd go 3D and click on props. So you do the same thing. And you go, oh, look, see, you got it on the left hand side. You go, oh, brilliant, just like the other one. Oh, I'm going to click on clothing now and it's going to expand and I'm going to see a sub menu. No, I'm not. Oh, that sucks. Or you go, look, click, click on 3D. And you click on 3D, you go, oh, wow, this is so awesome. Look at this menu here. 
this is what I've been looking for and I'm going to click characters and it's going to show me just like this and it's going to have all of those menus that we had missing let's click it it's going to be like go down here oh look it's awesome each one with a section like on YouTube playlists oh wicked let's click characters what's going to no no they're not there no it's just it's just the same as that and there's no extra level going on so it it just breaks my heart. Break, you're breaking my heart, Greedo. You're breaking my heart. I like this. I like that. You look. It's previewing someone's stuff, and you got Maxim um, Bergrimov. His his stuff in there. Don't make try make me say your names. And oh, oh look, this is pretty. Let's just have a look. Let's get distracted for a second. Oh, that is nice. That is very nice. I like him. Oh, should we buy? It's only five quid. Five quid for this little stylized little man. He is nice. That is pretty. Is, is he going to do a dance for us? Do a dance. Dance for me. Dance for me, Liam. I like him. I like him, Liam. No eyes. He's he's actually quite cute. I oh, know he's got a girlfriend, Kira. And she's got a spear. Why hasn't Liam got a spear? What's that about? Oh, I like it. I like it. There you go. I'm, well, you just got a bit distracted. They're both only a five for each. That is not, what else has this bloke done? Akishaus. Akishaus. I have to say that I prefer this page, you know, the, the publisher or the creator's preview page on the new one than I do on the old one. Um, I do like that. I like it. It's, it's nicer. Oh, I think I've owned some of this guy's stuff, actually. These look familiar. That doesn't really look like a bazooka though. But yeah. That is not. Ooh, what's this? I haven't seen this one. Why has he only got four stars? Two quid and he's got four stars. What did the review say? See, now we're navigating the new store. So with that little sliding easing that you've gone down there. See, we're doing it. We're just showing you. We're showing you the new asset store in practice. Um, it's got... This guy gave it for, what do you say? Great for mobile games, but it's really quite low poly. I will not use it for next gen game, but overall good ass. Are you, you, all right. This guy tends to just do low poly stuff, so I'm not sure what you're gonna really look for. But yeah, it looks, it doesn't look overly detailed. Or well, to be fair, the textures don't look that detailed either. You can always make, the thing with low poly, you can get away with low poly guns, especially if you have a good, um, texture models, but it tells you here low poly model shot, um, shotgun model, low poly model shotgun model. Hmm, says model a lot. Um, doesn't say, does he say PBR textures anywhere? Um, let's show more. Uh, I'm gonna tell you what, if I'd like if you click on this to see more because you kind of know what he wants to click because it's grey. So, why, why are you forcing me to do it? Um, would love to hear from you guys. I like I like the little part thing there. Um, yeah, it's a bit harsh this feedback saying it's low poly. He told you it was low poly before you bought it for two quid, Mister. I'm going to give you four stars. You're perfectly entitled to four stars. I'm only taking the Mickey. What's this guy say? You're going four stars. Um, I mainly bought the asset for the optics and the other accessories, but the shotgun model is good too if you use it for mobile game. But nice to develop it includes higher poly models for PC games. Yeah, but. It's, that's not what he said, he's told it a low poly for two quid. This is a good asset, but it lacks the proper work. I would recommend the asset developer to make the different parts of the weapon separate from the base model. So that feedback is useful because then you can animate it properly. You can take, you know, open up the shotgun and reload it. Um, or one piece, you can't really do that. I would also like to see a higher poly model included in the pack of next gen and PC games. Why are you saying that for though? Wait, and this is two years ago. I missed this guy for two years. He's been around. See, I don't understand that feedback. If somebody sells you something as low poly, and then you complain that it's not high poly, but you bought it for two quid, I'm a bit confused. I'm a bit confused by that feedback. And this is me, a guy who reviews stuff and gives really annoying and confusing feedback. So, um, yeah. What are you going to say about that one, eh? I'm going to say, keep your mouth shut, Mr. Messi. Ooh, I do love um, 3D Massons. 3D Massons stuff. His stuff is lovely. I only got one problem with 3D Master because you know, he uses legacy animations, doesn't use Mechanic. Look, there you go again, legacy rig. Oh, come on, mate. Come on, move over to to Mechanic and rig your stuff so that we can use it with other models. 
But my word, I do love this stuff. Do love it. I'm going to do a review of this. I've got this pack. I'm going to do a review of it one day. I'm actually going to. I'm actually trying to use his stuff in the uh, FPS tutorials that we're doing. So that's going to be fun. Hold on to your socks for that one. All right, get back into um, clothes. What are we talking about? I can't even let's see. That's another thing. Look, quick, easy it is for me just to keep losing this menu. It's annoying, isn't it? It's annoying. It gets me, gets me goat. That does. All right, back. Well, what are we talking about? I can't remember. Do you remember? Let's just compare that to the old one to show you, to show you what I mean. Okay, look, this is the old one. Remember the old one? There it is. Looks pretty. And I go to 3D models, and then I go to look, look, um, characters. See? And I've got Uma, other Toon. The other one I've just got animals, creatures, humanoids, and robots. They're missing three more. But if I go to animals and I extend it, I've got birds, fish, insects, uh, mammals, reptiles, other. If I go to humanoids, I've got Fantasy, human, sci-fi, other. You know what I mean? It's loads. If you go to props and then open up clothes, you can see there's even more. But you don't get that in a new one. Why don't you get that in a new one? Not only do you not get that, they've actually removed stuff. They've removed. Look, they removed these ones. Why do they do that? Do they not work? A, B testing? What? They just looked at the stats and saw people weren't clicking them? Well, I click them. I know other people were click them. Must be more more than four people that click it. Maybe five people. Five people click it, maybe. Uh, there you go. Oh, do you mean, one thing I didn't like about the old one is that look at all this wasted space. All that wasted space on the old one. And that's annoying. Um, scrolling through this is very slow. It's annoying. And sometimes when you're scrolling through it and you go to three, like here, you go, oh look, these are at the bottom. And then you go to four, and sometimes you see them at the top again, or like just randomly ordered in here. And you're like, oh, I've already seen you, haven't I? Weren't you on page three? And they go, Yeah, I was on page three. And you go, Oh, well, okay. What well, you did on page four as well? So yeah, that I didn't like. I don't like that so much with the old one. Um, and this slider thing. Sometimes you know, on the mobile, it's very easy to accidentally push the sliders when you're trying to search. But when you're on desktop, I mean, it, it, they are handy. I do like them. And then when you go into the new one, and you've got you've got them like this, so it's they're still there, aren't they? But um, a little bit easier to manage. One thing though, though, you can't just quickly just go up there and remove it, the, like you could. You go, oh, I've accidentally done that, and then you click X, and then you remove the tag. You've got to go back into there, and then apply your change again. So, in that regard, I like the old one better. Um, I like the sale when you click on sale. It's like clicking on the sale thing on the on the old one, but it's got a little arrow. And it's green. I like that. It's pretty. So um, yeah, I'm not I'm not overly clean. Keen am I? Well, all clean. Well, I am clean. I just had a shower, so I'm overly clean, but not overly keen. The other thing I don't like, which is actually one of the main gripes I've got with it, is that it's broken for the affiliate system. And they say, look, don't use the affiliate system. Don't use affiliate links with a new one. We told you don't do it. But if you've got that auto, where well, it used to have the problem when I tried the other day, fixed it, but I don't know. Was it just luck that it worked? But because it automatically redirects you from the old store to the new one, um, it breaks the links, your affiliate links. And if you try to put your affiliate tag at the end of these URLs, they don't work. So, um, yeah, screw that for our Gamba soldiers. That's a shame. Yeah, I also don't like the fact that every time I go to the new store, it asks me to log in. I'm sure that somebody explained to me a reason, but I'm tired. I've had Butler County. I can't really, I can't really think too much. Look, easy build system. I'm going to do a tutorial on the easy build system. I'm also going to do a tutorial on how to get Ultimate Survivor working with Uconstruct. So um, there you go, there you go, you get one of each. When am I going to do it? Well, I'm going to do it very soon. Um, might do it this weekend, might do it next weekend. Um, could do it this weekend, maybe. Not too sure. And I'm going to do a review, because there's a couple of stuff that I wanted to review and have a play about with. So I might do a review this weekend and play with EBS next weekend. And then in a couple of weeks, I'll play with Uconstruct. Which one do I like out of the two? Well, to be honest, um, I like you construct with look what a coincidence with terrain modification. Yep, I like that. And EBS doesn't have that at the moment, I do believe. 
So that's what's important to me. Well, I'm going to make you a promise. I promise you that I will still be making a video um, on this channel, no matter how much time I'm spending on my super sexy, awesome, fantastic, best thing in the world game that I'm working on. What's that? I hear you say game. Yes, that's right. I'm working on my game. I've been talking about it for ages. Well, since they run on these videos that, oh, I'm going to work on a game. I'm working on a game. Oh, that'll be good for my game. Well, I've been doing stuff on and off. Um, and these videos have actually taken a lot of time. And I have been delayed more than I wanted to be. I've lost about three different hard drives. And when I moved from one country to the other, when I moved home, um, the move kind of damaged some of my computers and wasn't too good for them. Funnily enough, the solid state hard drives, they were fine, except for one of my solid state hard drives got buggered as well. So, um, yes, I know. Stop shouting at me. Use version control and backup and all this and all that. But to be honest, one of them died while I was doing a backup. So um, what are the odds of that happening? So there you go. What were we talking about again? Oh yeah, we were talking about the asset store. So um, yeah, I I like I like having things big, nice big pictures, nice big words and like icons here. I do like this mouse over. Simple things. It's very clean. Um, but I mean, when you come up here and I see releases, I. Can, if there was loads of releases, it'll go on long, 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 um, and you can still see the details of the releases. In the old one, you just boom, you click on it, and then it gives you the details and a little pop up. Honestly, I think I prefer that one because if there's loads of updates, then this becomes really long and scrolling, and then you've got to get back up to the top and then close it again so you can read something else. Um, it'd be like this. See, I've opened that up, and now there's a load of white space here. So um, yeah, I don't know. I think they need a little bit more work on it, to be honest. Honestly, I don't like the pot this for previewing the images and stuff. I like the old method where I could just click on it, zoom there, and it would preview within here, and I could still read stuff at the same time. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Mainly, I'm not a fan because you can't really navigate the stuff so well, and I'm not a fan because it breaks the affiliate system. But other than that, end with a snipe, end with the sandwich with a general positive statement. And I'm going to say it proves that the Unity team are trying to improve and make changes and strive for making their websites a better place. So they're not just sitting there and saying, well, it worked and it you know, looks a bit crap, but at least it works. So we stick with it. They are always trying out new things and they're trying to improve. They're listening to people when they screwed up last time and everyone complained they rolled back. So, yeah, positives in that regard. They actually do seem to care and they want to make their websites look pretty. And also, don't forget, they went and got their name in Unity. All right, guys, that's um, my somewhat drunk rant about the Unity Asset Store and having a chat about my game project that I'm working on. So I'm about to go to bed. I'll edit this. I'll try to make it a little bit coherent, but I can't make any promises. So guys, if you do like these videos and you want to see more, do click on that big juicy, where is it hiding? Subscribe button, somewhere. You can find it, give it a click. And don't forget to call up all your friends, neighbours, um, ex-girlfriends, doctors, psychiatrists, um, and tell them, well, if they want to make the world a better place, they can just watch these videos and share the love. So until next time, if you like it, click it. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Until next time.